All right, Corey Heim leading the field to green for the first time. Ty Gibbs on the outside. Green flag is in the air. We are green from Mid-Ohio. Trouble already. Chris Wright is around. Exactly in the spot you don't want to get stuck. I didn't see any contact. You see him on the outside of the racetrack. And actually, he might have had a little bit of contact. The 15 of Drew Dollar was right behind him. It's a possibility that maybe he got nudged and turned around. Let's see if we can tell here if there was any contact. Gosh, it almost looks like he just lost it on his own. Yeah, they, they were close. It's hard to say whether there was contact or not. He was off. Uh, Drew Dollar was awfully close to the back end of Chris Wright's car. And we were just talking about how well groomed that sand trap was or the kitty litter trap. That's that's some serious gravel. He is stuck. Here's a look again at what happened. We had just gone green. You could actually see the back, <laughs> the of, the back of the car lift, car lift up a little bit when Drew got into him. That's a shame because I, I, I found it ironic because Chris Wright has probably more road course experience than about anybody in the field. So it wouldn't be like him just to drive in that corner too hard and spin out. So you could, Matt saw the contact and uh, saw the damage on Chris Wright's car when we uh, saw it in the kitty litter there. Okay, Brandon Jones going to try to outbreak Corey Heim into the keyhole. Looks like Corey Heim overthrew the corner. Brandon Jones is going to get underneath him. He's going to lose two spots here. He's going after the 25 for Brandon Jones, and he moves inside him. And that's where Ty Gibbs was able to close the gap as well and get around Corey Heim. And now... Battling Brandon Jones in the 25, and he gets up. Brandon Hill and Brandon Jones, third and fourth, trouble on the racetrack. And he goes right in the sand trap that we had talked about. Yeah, Russ Lane in the 69 car, they call that China Beach. You don't want to go to China Beach. You'll be sunning yourself for a little bit, is that what you're saying? Yes. And Russ Lane is upset, but I can promise you there's one person that might be a little bit more upset. Chris Wright? Chris Wright. Being. See what happens here. I don't know, maybe, maybe didn't have any brakes, but when he hit the brakes, it looked like it locked up the rear brakes. Walking around, talking to everybody. As the green flag comes out, Corey Heim in the 20 with a big jump. Ooh, that's going to be questionable it, it right looked, there. It looked like almost too good a jump, really. I'm sure, I'm sure the Archie guys are going to be looking at that. Tan. Is that a little bit earlier we get there you can beat the leader to the start finish line but the leader has to launch first that's the whole key we'll have to see i'm sure the arc officials will look back at that that right there he, he will have that thing big time get into that corner i thought he was going to get out. back of brandon jones too pass through for the 20 you guys were right ty gibbs making his way around Checker flag is in the air. Ty Gibbs wins it at Mid-Ohio. Yes, sir. Woo! Here he goes. I would call that a big Kevin Harvick burnout. That was kind of a Kevin Harvick symbol back in the day. He did those long burnouts. It's like the Monster Energy Smoke Show right there. <laughs> I mean, when you, you win so much, you can just mess with it and try different things. There it goes. I didn't think he'd quit on his destroyed line burnout. <laughs>